जय श्री माता जी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन लेट्स ऑल बॉ डाउन टू श्री माता जी रेज अ मदर कुंडलिनी एंड पुट बंधन will recite shri ganesh mantra Let's bring our right hand on the mother earth. Left hand towards Shri Mata ji. Shri Mata ji. Kindly balance my left channel. Mother. Kindly take away all the imbalances all the negativities of my left channel into the mother earth shamata ji you are shri ganesha mother kindly establish all the qualities of shri ganesha within me shamata ji kindly purify and enlighten my ida nadi Let's bring our right hand back on the lap. Left hand towards the sky. Shamata ji. Kindly take away all the negativities 
all the imbalances of my right channel into the sky element. Shri you are Shri Hanumana, Mother, kindly establish all the qualities of Shri Hanumana within us. Shri Mataji, kindly purify and enlighten our Pingla Nadi. Let's bring up both our hands back on the lap. And attention on our Sahasra. Shri kindly establish me in the state of thoughtless awareness. Shri kindly establish my Self-Realization. In this meditative state, we will now hear Shramataji's speech. So now see where is your attention going. First, the attachment is in all gross ways to your body. So we see Shiva has no attachment to his body. He sleeps anywhere. He goes to the Symmetries and sleeps there because he's not attached. He can never be caught up by any boots or anything, nothing of the kind. She's detached. The detachment is to be watched and seen through your own attachments. Now, because you are realized souls, not yet, the spirit has not come into your brain, of course, but still you are realized souls. So, what you, have, you can do is at least to watch your attention, you can do that. You can watch your attention very clearly by seeing where your attention is going. And then controlling your attention also you can do. Very simple. To 
control your attention you have to just remove your attention from this to that try to change your priorities all this has to be done now after realization a complete detachment so the body demands comfort try to make body uncomfortable a little bit try what you think it to be comfortable try to make it little uncomfortable that's why people went to himalayas see coming to this place itself has caused us lot of problems But going to himalayas you can imagine so after realization they used to take their body to himalayas all right go through all this let's see how you act so what you call the penance side starts now in a way it's a penance which you can do very easily because now you realize so with enjoyment little try to make this body for shiva it doesn't matter whether he is in a cemetery or in his own kailasha or anywhere where is your attention is is it that your human attention is hopelessly bad very entangled nonsense it is we did this because of this this is an explanation or others have to give an explanation no explanation is needed to be given or to be accepted or to be asked for no explanation to exist without explanation is the best way in a simple hindi language jaise rakhu taise hi rahu whichever way you keep me i'll remain in that state and i'll enjoy the further in this poem kabira says if you make me go on an elephant means the royal convince i'll go if you work we walk i'll walk जैसे राखहु तैसे ही रहु सो नो रिएक्शन ऑन दैट पॉइंट नो रिएक्शन फर्स्ट नो एक्सप्लेनेशन नो रिएक्शन नाउ सेकंड इज अबाउट फूड सो दैट्स द फर्स्ट सीकिंग ह्यूमन बीइंग्स हैड एज एनिमल्स नो अटेंशन ऑन फूड whether you have salt or not whether you have this or that no attention on food actually you should not remember what you ate this morning but we think as to what we are going to eat tomorrow we consume food not for running this body but for sort of a more satisfaction of dark pleasures once you start understanding that pleasure is a sign of gross attention any kind of pleasure is a very gross sensationalization sensations very gross it is but when i say no pleasures means that mean that you should become serious people and people of sort of as if somebody is dead in your family <laughs> but you should be like shiva <clears throat> so detached she came on a bull which was running very fast to get married and sitting on a bull with two, two feet like this you see and the bull is running fast and he is holding the bull the feet like this <laughs> and is coming for his wedding and with him are coming people with one eye without noses all kinds of funny people coming with him and his wife feeling quite embarrassed at the nonsensical 
<laughs> things people are talking about Shiva. He's not bothered. What's his reputation would be this thing? But that doesn't mean that you become hippies. You see, this the problem is that once you start thinking like that, you become hippies. Many people believe that if you try to behave like Shiva, you become Shiva. Many believe that way. That if you take ganja, you become Shiva because Shiva is to take ganja because he was consuming all that to finish off from this world. For what does it matter whether it's a ganja or anything? Give him anything, he'll never get drunk. No question. He's consuming all that. Or they think if they live like Shiva, the way he was detached about things, least bothered about his appearances. What appearance Shiva needs is that whatever he appears as his beauty, he doesn't need anything to be done. So, attachment to anything is ugliness. It's ugliness. It's nonsense. But you can dress up whatever way you like. Or even if you are in the most ordinary dress, you look the most magnificent person. But it's not that if you if you say that all right. So in the, these circumstances, lo, let us go about on a one sheet wrapped around. The beauty that has evolved within you through spirit gives you that power that you can wear whatever you feel like. Makes no difference to your beauty. Your beauty is there all the time. But have you achieved that state? And that state only you achieve when your spirit enters into your brain. With ego-oriented people is more difficult. And that's why they cannot enjoy things. At the slightest pretext they topple down. And spirit, which is the source of joy, just doesn't come, doesn't show. The joy is beauty. The joy itself is beauty. But that is a state one has to achieve. Attachments come by various methods. If you go a little ahead with it, then you have attachments of your family. What will happen to my child? What will happen to my husband? What will happen to my mother, to my wife? This, that nonsense. Who is your father and who is your mother? Who is your husband and who is your wife? For Shiva, he doesn't know all these things. To him, he and his power are inseparable things. So he stands as singular personality. There's no dual duality. When there is duality, then only say, my wife. You can't say, my nose, my ears, my hands, my, 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 go, go, go deep down. Till you say, my, there is some duality. But when I say, I, the nose, then there is no duality. Shiva the Shakti, Shakti the Shiva. There is no duality. But we live throughout on our duality and because of that there is an attachment. If there is no duality, what is the attachment? If you are the light and you are the lamp, so where is the duality? If you are the moon and you are the moonlight, then where is the duality? If you are the sun and you are the sunlight, you are the word and you are the meaning. Then where is the duality? But when there is this separation, there is duality. 
and because of this separation you feel attached because if you are that how will you be attached do you see that point because there is a difference and a distance between you and yours that's why you get attached to it but me who is the other this whole universe is me who is the other everything is me who is the other but not that it's a brain wave or a ego brain wave basa 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 mai magin jeva lag rahe the sagla disturb hote basa far gambhir vishay hun raha hai yaala kai nako mala nau taas jari basle na तरी मला काही लागणार नाही बसा आरामात बसा डिस्टर्ब नाही करायचं बसून घ्यायचं सो हु इज द अदर नो बटी दॅट्स ओनली पॉसिबल वेन युअर स्पिरिट कम्स इन टू युअर ब्रेन अँड यू बिकम पार्ट अँड पार्सल ऑफ विराट इट सेल्फ विराट इज द ब्रेन ॲज आय टोल then everything that you do when you show your temper when you show your affection when you show your compassion anything is the spirit that is expressing because brain has lost its identity the so called limited brain it has become the unlimited spirit i do not know i really do not know how to give an analogy to a thing like that but what we can do is to understand it that if a color is dropped in a, the ocean the ocean becomes colorful is not possible but rather try to understand if a little color limited color is dropped into the ocean the color loses its identity completely think of the other way around if the ocean is colored and is poured into atmosphere or on to any part any any little wee bit or on to any spot on to any atom or anything it all becomes colorful so the spirit is like the ocean which has the light in it and when this ocean pours into the little cup of your brain the cup loses its identity and everything becomes spiritual everything you can make everything spiritual everything you touch anything is spiritual the sand becomes spiritual the land becomes spiritual atmosphere becomes spiritual celestial bodies become spiritual everything becomes spiritual so is the ocean that is the spirit while your brain is limited so the detachment from your limited brain has to be brought in all limitations of brain should be broken so that when this ocean fills that brain it should break that little cup 
every bit of that cup should become colorful the whole atmosphere everything whatever you locate should be colorful color of the spirit is the light of the spirit and this light of the spirit acts works thinks coordinates does everything this is the reason today i decided to bring shiva tatva to the brain The first procedure is to take your brain towards the Shiva Tattva by telling it, See, where are you going, Mr. Brain? You're putting attention to this, you're putting attention to that. Getting involved now, detach. Become the brain yourself, only the brain. Detach, detach. And then take this detached brain, completely filled with the color of the spirit. It will automatically happen. As long as you will have these limitations to your attention, it will not happen. So one has to really deliberately do this tapasya, every individual. I am with you. So you don't need any puja that way. But that state has to be achieved and for achieving that state you need the puja. I hope so many of you will become the Shiva Tattvas in my lifetime. But don't think I am asking you to suffer. There is no suffering in this kind of an ascent. If you understand that this is the complete joy state, that is the time when you become Nirānanda. That's the joy named in the Sastrara. The name of the joy is Nirānanda and you know your mother's name is Nira. So you become Nirānanda. So today's worship of Shiva has a special meaning. I hope whatever we do in the outward way, in a gross way, happens also in the subtler way. I am trying to push your spirits into your brains, but I find it rather sometimes difficult because your attention is still involved Try to detach yourself. Temper, lust, greed, everything. Try to reduce. Like in food, I told today Warren, ask them to eat less, not like gluttonous people. You see, once in a while, on a May, day of the, uh, big banquet or anything, you eat more, but you can't eat every time like that. Is that a sign of Sahaja Yogi? Try to control. Try to control your speech. Whether you express temper in your speech or you express your compassion or you are artificially compassionate, try to control. I know some of you may not do much. It's all right. I'll try to tell you many a times. I'll try to help you. But most of you can do it, and you should try that. So on a deeper level from today we start our Sahaja Yoga, where some of you may not attain, but most of you should try to go deeper. Everyone. For that you don't need persons who are very well educated or well placed. In no, not at all. But people who meditate, dedicate, go deeper, because they are like the first roots which have to reach for others much deeper, so that others can follow.
Now for today's puja, we'll have a very short Ganesh Atharvashesh. Just a, not washing my feet or anything much on it. But it's a saying of Atharvashesha. And you can put... म्हणजे शिव पूजेला पाय वगैरे धुवायची काही गरज नाही कारण ते शुद्धच आहे शिवाय इज ऑल द टाईम क्लीन प्युअर इमॅक्युलेट सो वॉट आर यू गोईंग टू वॉश द इमॅक्युलेट वन मे से दॅट मदर वेन यू वॉश युअर फीट वी गेट युअर वायब्रेशन्स इन द वॉटर बट सो डिटॅच दॅट देस नो नीड टू वॉश at a state where you get completely washed, completely cleaned out. Then we'll have a Devi Pujan because Gauri, who is virgin, is to be worshipped. So we'll say the hundred and eight names of the virgin. Then we'll do a Shiva Puja. I am sorry, I cannot tell you everything in one short speech all about this. But detachment must start expressing itself in your realization. Detachment. What is surrendering is nothing, because when you are detached, you are surrendered automatically. When you are holding on to other things, you are not surrendered, that's all. What is there to surrender me? I am such a detached person, I don't understand all that. What am I to get out of you? I am so detached. Nothing. So today I hope we all pray that, O Lord, give us strength and that source of attraction by which we give up all other attractions of all the pleasures of joy, of ego, of everything that we think of. But we should fall into the pure joy form of the Shiva Tattva. Absolutely. I hope I've been able to explain to you why I'm here today and why today is a very big day. You all who are here are especially very lucky people who should think that God has been kind to you, that He has chosen you today to be here to listen to this. And then once you get detached, you'll start feeling responsible. Abhiyukta, responsible. But the responsibility, not giving ego, but responsibility which is executing by itself, which is expressing by itself, manifesting by itself. May God bless you.
will recite the three maha mantras We thank you Shri Mata ji for all your blessings in this beautiful collective morning meditation. Let's all bow down to Shri Mata ji. Raise our mother kundalini and put bandhan Let's join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation. Jai Shri Mataji.